Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth, and welcome back to another video, folks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit some registries in your virtual machine to make it look like an actual computer. Now, if you're going to be using your virtual machine to scam bait, of course, some scam baiters will know to look in the device manager, and if they look at, say, the hard drive or the DVD drive, as you can see, it says VBox, so that tells them that it is a virtual machine. So, of course, uh, we do want to edit some registries but basically just editing the name that pops up in these uh in the device manager to make it look like an actual computer so of course for this you want to bring up the device manager and i'm going to show you how to do that as well so we can go into search and type device manager it does pop it out and right here this is on the actual computer and this is basically as you can see in the hard drive in a dvd drive it actually names what you are using hardware wise we're going to minimize this because we're going to use this for inspiration as we do modify the registries and i'm going to talk you through how to modify the registries to make them look different first things first if we want to open up the registry editor you can also use the windows and r key to use the run function and type in reg edit if you want to open it this way sometimes it can be a bit fiddly and won't open it on the virtual machine so just go into the virtual machine type in reg of course it'll bring up the registry editor click on that and so in here we want to go into the local machine and then into system and then into system we want to get into the control set 001 and right here we want the enum file so this is where we have all the registries that we want to edit now these registries are associated with the hardware part of the machine and these are the four registries that we're looking for so first things first we need to give ourselves access because we do not have access to these this is only for the system so what we will do is right click on the enum file and then over here it'll bring up this window right here so of course we want to go to permissions after you right click i am going to tick all of the allow boxes make sure they're all ticked just because i mean this is a virtual machine and so we are happy if we break certain things that doesn't really make a difference but as you can see my user does not appear here now of course in my case as i go through setting the permission of course you will see that um it will appear different but that's fine um, I'm just going to talk you on how to do this. So we are going to click on add over here. You want to add your username on the operating system. In my case, it is sethtopia at outlook.com. So that is what I set as username. And so that is what I'm going to type in. Make sure you type it correctly. And of course, once you've done that, we are going to click on on the button check names if it underlines it then that means it is correct and then we have the right name so basically we're creating a um owner name if that makes sense which then allows us to give ourselves the permission to edit the registries so that seems to have worked this is what it looks like for me for some odd reason sometimes it will actually have your name but this is what i'm getting right now so make sure these two boxes are ticked we click OK. We have to, of course, do some more permissions or give us some more permissions. So in permissions, again, right click on Enum. We will go onto the advanced tab over here. We want to change this. And so we are going to put our username again. In my case, it is Sethtopia at Outlook.com. Uh, I'm going to try and type it as accurate as possible. As before, once you have typed it, we then basically click on the check name button just to make sure it's underlined it. We're happy with that. Over here, we're going to click on replace. So this is what it looks like. So replace and uh, replace owner and subcontainers and objects. So we want to tick that box over here. We want to do this as well. So make sure this box right here is ticked and then we apply. So we're going to get a couple of messages. We're just going to click OK. It's basically telling us that it cannot modify certain things, which is fine. Uh, it will allow us to modify what we need to modify. So that is perfectly fine. OK. And once we close this, we click OK. So now we have permission to modify so first things first we're going to right click and then select find open up the first uh 
registry. And so I'm going to copy this particular registry, go back into the field, paste it in there. These numbers will be different. Click on find next, wait for it to find. So what we're looking for are, well, actually a couple of things. So this right here, friendly name, as you can see right there, it has VBox. We want to get rid of that or anything that suggests that it would be virtual software. So for this, of course, this is for the hard drive. Uh, it says right there, disk at the bottom. Uh, there are three things that we will be looking for at all times. And so that is the uh, friendly name. We're going to right click modify. On, of course, device description is another one that we can modify. Sometimes we won't have both of them. We'll only have one of them. So uh, we have to pay attention to that. And of course, the manufacturer setting or manufacturer name. So in this case, we have friendly name. We're going to modify that. And I am going to seek inspiration from my actual machine. I'm going to call this a Western Digital hard drive. I'm going to use the exact same number and code and stuff as my real one. Of course, remember, this is a uh, virtual machine. So, uh, you know, <laughs> whilst it is on a hard drive, we're just making up some sort of name that is actually believable. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, to be fairly honest with you, but we do want to make it look convincing and believable. So once I'm done with the edit, we will then, of course, press OK. I'm happy with that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the manufacturer right here. I'm going to modify this as well. And we're just going to name it WD, which is basically short for Western Digital. So that is one registry changed. If we now go on to the device manager, and of course, the device manager, you can just type in the search box device manager, bring up this window. Uh, let us refresh this page so we can see what has happened. This is what was previously. So we want to click on actions and then of course update hardware and as you can see now it's been changed to that so that is what it looks like it looks like an actual hard drive next up i'm just going to try and make this window a bit bigger so you guys can see on enum right click and then go on fine of course copy the next registry whoopsies I am using the shortcut keys for this, but yeah. So control C to copy, control and V to paste. So you can do the system, but I'm just gonna go straight into the enum. We're gonna go for find. We're gonna press control V, find next. And this one right here is the display. So the display is basically what screen you use, what monitor you use. So as you can see, we only have the device description. We don't have the friendly name this time around. So this is what we will be editing. One click, uh, right click on it, modify. And now we are going to make up a name. So um, you can call it whatever you want. Just make it look and feel believable. I think for my case, I'm just going to come up with the name Samsung and uh, try and put together some letters and numbers that would make it look like an actual Samsung screen. So this would be the display that we are apparently using. Um, so Samsung, let me just think about this. How, how would I word this? So I think I'm just going to make up some names. I'm going to actually use, um, I don't know. Uh, this, uh, yeah, I'm just making this up completely. I've, yeah. I think that would look believable to me as a potential possible uh, type of monitor. Of course, over here in the MFG, we can, of course, modify this. Uh, you don't have to. And I accidentally am modifying an, a different folder, but uh, a different registry, but that's fine. It will still take effect. I don't think we need to do this <laughs> on every single thing, uh, but... Yeah, as you can see, it does show that the display is a Samsung, so that's fine. Uh, it worked. Next up, we're going to do this. And so this will be the uh, DVD CD drive. So again, right click on Enum. Accidentally clicking on the wrong thing. My apologies. So... We're going to look for find, right click on enum find and paste in the new registry number. 
this time around, we are going to modify the DVD drive or CD drive. I don't know why it says a CD drive. I have a DVD drive, but it's not connected to the motherboard because I don't ever use it. And I just thought there's no point in having it installed. So for some odd reason, in my case, it shows as a DVD or yeah, CD drive. Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it HP DVD uh, reader writer. So uh, we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to make up, I suppose, a model number. Again, completely made up, but I suppose it'll do. And in the manufacturer, we're going to rename this. We're going to click on modify. So right click then modify and we're going to select and type in HP that should do now if we go on to the next one this one is the mouse registry so this might have several subsections and I'm going to show you how to access those really quickly again select and copy and then enum right click on it find there we go. Control V or paste. Find next. And so, as I said, this is the mouse. And we're going to, I mean, we can leave this if we want to. Uh, what's nice with VBox is it does give them some names, but I think I'm going to customize it just for my own um, purpose, I guess. And uh, we're going to call it, I suppose, my, what my actual mouse is. So, I'm going to change it to, what is it? Device description, right click modify. And we're gonna go for a Logitech. Let me have a look, hold on. Yeah, so it's Logitech uh, G502 Hero. I think that's what it is, yeah. So that is what we are going to call it. Now, of course, oh, hold on a bit, uppercase G. We don't want that. I'm just double checking to make sure that I am getting it right. G502 Hero. And that's that sorted. And once we're happy with this, I'm just going to copy it because I will need this particular name. And then on to the MFG. We're going to basically set the manufacturer name Logitech. There we go. We're happy with that. Now, right now, as I said, there are several more sub directories that will have um, registries. So what we want to do is press F3 on the keyboard and that'll bring us into the next section. So click on this F3. Voila, we get another one. And of course, it says Microsoft. So again, we are going to be updating this, modifying it. We're going to call it the exact same thing. So I'm going to control V the previous name. So control paste. And over here, I'm just going to use the same thing that I have copied. But this time around, I'm just going to delete the make and model and just leave the brand name. Again, we're going to press F3 and have a look for anything that will name the mouse. Nothing in here. I'm going to press F3 once more. Let's see what we have. And that seems to pretty much be it. Now, sometimes you may have multiple registries within this file that you want to edit. In my case, there was only two of them. You can get three or even more. So just be sure to check. So this is what it now looks like. As you can see right here, um, this is what we modified, so now it looks more believable. Now, luckily for me, the processor is pretty accurate. Uh, with some virtual software machines, uh, you may have to modify pretty much everything. So that is up to you. You can rename pretty much any file that you want as far as the hardware goes. And finally, once you are happy with everything that you have done, it's time to create a snapshot. You can see right there, take snapshot. But I'm just going to show you all of these options that you have. The snapshot option is in the machine section. Take a snapshot. This will take a bit of time, but what this does is it creates a snapshot of the machine as it is with everything on it 
at this point in time, which we can then revert to. So if we break something, if you're testing something, if a, a scammer has broken your machine, you just revert back to the snapshot. So I'm going to call this before scammer. Of course, I'm going to be using this for multiple things, not just scam baiting. So that is what I'm going to call this particular snapshot. Uh, once we're happy, we're going to click OK. It'll start creating a snapshot which we can revert to at any point in time of course if you make modifications and you want to create a new snapshot you do the exact same thing as with the first time you created a snapshot and it creates a new updated snapshot you can rename it to whatever you want to call it but yeah this is the idea behind the snapshot so from now on uh we have a snapshot of this machine anything we do to break it we can always revert back to it which is what is nice about it so that is pretty much it with regards to making your virtual machine look like an actual computer if someone should go in the device manager that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to hit that like button share comment and subscribe and until next time stay safe folks